How's it going, everybody? As you can see, I am playing Minecraft again. However, this is another Vex map. This is Sea of Flame, which uh, probably a lot of people have seen. Sea of Flame version 1.0. I think that was Vex's first real map that made it big. Um, you may notice that I'm Steve right now. For some reason I can't connect to Minecraft.net, but whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and start playing. Um, it just goes down every once in a while. Um, so it's a Vex map. So as usual, find and complete the victory monument. Find the woolen chests. Use at least easy. I'm on normal. Do not leave the boundaries of the map. It might be kind of impressive if I did manage to leave the boundaries of the map with it all being lava. Survive in any way you can think of, and you can craft the metal blocks. Okay. So, survive in any way you can think of basically means I'm allowed to break things. Yeah, this is a remake of the old Sea of Flames. And, yeah. Yeah. Estonian battle sign, that's what I like to see. So it's been a while since I did anything Minecraft related, and this isn't because I haven't been playing Minecraft. Oh. There's something down there. Anyways, it's not because I haven't been playing Minecraft, it's because I've been doing stuff that's really not that exciting, so... Actually, doing like an episode of this stuff would be a little bit boring, so I don't want to just post stuff just to have content up, you know? I want it to be at least somewhat entertaining. Um, but I'll think of something interesting soon, and then we can uh, get back to that. It's been a few weeks now, even, I think. So anyways, this will be my third Vex map that I've done. I did uh, Sunburn Islands and Spellbound Caves. And, oh, that's handy. I have a feeling food is going to be a problem on this, this map, so... I'm going to uh, have to watch that. Okay. And in the past, when I... you know I'm just going to take this with me. In the past, when I've done the Vex maps, I've actually, uh... So what exactly is in here? Just a chest? There's something up there. Uh, so anyways. In the past, when I've done the Vex maps, I've actually recorded the entire series in advance. And then posted it afterwards. This is mostly because I was, uh... Worried that it, they would be really hard or something, and I would not want to finish. But I'm pretty confident this time. Not tons of coal, that's good. I think I need to go get wood, though, before anything else. And I know where to do that. Get out of here. So I'm running, uh... As of right now, the snapshot release from several weeks back. It's the one where editable books were added. Not edible, but editable. The um, ones after that seem to have some pretty debilitating glitches and bugs, so I opted not to get those. Like, I think the one afterwards was something like the pause menu doesn't work or something, so it's kind of a big deal. Let's see. Actually, I have blocks now, so I don't have to worry about this. Yep, <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Normally, I would have to sit there and worry about updating the blocks and whatnot, but nope, I have blocks. And flint. And I hear skeletons. Okay. I'm going to want this. So, I've basically gone out of my way not to watch any videos of this 
obviously, you know, I don't want to know where everything is before I even start playing, because that would be boring. And stupid. <laughs> I mean, I guess if I was just trying to prove how hardcore and amazing... Oh, really? No. Really, Vex? Um, if I was just trying to be like, look how amazing I am, I could memorize where everything was and then uh, pretend that I didn't know where everything was <laughs> and post that. That'd be pretty lame, though. And I've made it no secret that my goal in playing videos on, or doing gameplay videos for YouTube has never been to be like, oh, look how hardcore I am. Just here to have fun and uh, hopefully entertain people. Please don't disappear, leaves. Okay, I really do need some saplings, though. There's one. Two. Quite honestly, two was probably enough. But you know what's better than two? Four. Alright, that's good. I mean, I don't think I'll need more than that. Okay. So, we're off to a decent start here. I can probably make that, uh... Very good. Ooh. I might have to check that out. I remember reading that the pressure plates are actually just to um, burn. Like to look cool when they burn, so I don't think I have to worry about those. There's skellies. Is there like a spawner inside here, maybe? Oh, that's cruel. No, oh, no, 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 no. I can't go for that. No can do. I think this is supposed to be an easier map just because it's one of the earlier ones, although Vex has gone back and uh, revised it, so... There's got to be something in here. Probably spiders. Or a rail. That could, that could work. Ooh. This is usually a good sign when you're in a, a Vex map. Might be something back there, but let's just follow this for now. Don't break the glass. Arcane Ruins. Stonian Battle Sign, level 2. Fire Aspect 1, Knockback 2. Don't mind if I do. Cookies. Ooh, and a bed. That's nice. I don't have any dirt, though, do I? I can't even plant these trees. Potions. Whoa, a lot of potions. Okay. This is pretty cool. I like this area. Oh, hello. There's our victory monument. And first thing I'm going to do is make safety rails for it, because that makes me nervous. Quite nervous indeed. like this. Okay. Seriously, what is with this? It's incredibly dangerous. Looks like I'll have enough to cover this part at least. That's not bad. I 
guess let's cover as much of this as we can. No wool yet. Well, that was pleasant at least. Take those for sure. I don't know what the trap doors are supposed to be for. They probably do something impressive that I'm just not aware of. What's this over here? Oh. Okay, well, we got the victory monument. Might as well go ahead and set up a base here, although I would like to have a tree farm. Let's see what's over here. Darkness. Lightness. Enjoy your piston doors. This is not a trap. This isn't a ROM hack hard map, so you can trust me. Okay. Yeah, oh, they're legit. Cool. Oh, that's nice. Very cool. Plenty of nether wart. Oh. Leather man, he's being really kind to us this time. Saplings in here. Blocks. Bunch of beds, redstone. Paintings. Uh actually I don't need those. Cake. No dirt though, huh? Darn. I was hoping there'd be dirt in there. Well let's go ahead and set up camp in here, I guess. I think this is lit well enough. I don't need to make any of this into coal because there is a ton of coal down in that one area. Very nice. Perfect. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. No, I'm kidding. A uh, crafting table, yeah, that would be useful. Like, isn't there something else that you need in this game besides cake? Uh, let's make some more armor. Oh, wait, I don't need pants, actually. Silly me everything I need, isn't it? Oh yes, looking quite quite nice there. Put one of those chests down in here. I don't want to cover up my uh, glowstone here is the only thing. So we'll go right there. I guess I'll go ahead and make a bow. You guys know the drill, the first episode's always pretty slow. Well, usually. No arrows, so no reason to bother putting that on the hotbar as of yet. Okay, we got blocks. Got food. Got light. Got light and blocks in one. jack o lanterns are like your best friend in... Uh, Super Hostile series. And let's put some of this food back. Okay, mm that'll do. Okay, so let's go back and get some of that coal, I guess. That, or, actually, let's go over here first. Ah! Seriously, guy. No. Oh, so this is like a mushroom farm? 
Molten Depths, Cathedral of the Suide, Suidae. What's in here? Actually, taking sandstone would probably make more sense than taking sand. Oh, there's glass in here. Okay. Back to the Victory Monument. By the way, I am using F3, so... Yeah, this is still dark enough in here for monsters to spawn. For those of you who don't know. Uh, you see next to the biome, it says desert. B is biome, desert. The BL next to it is the light level. And if that is 7 or below, monsters can spawn. So that room is still ooh, is still dark enough for monsters to spawn. Whatever, doesn't really matter. Yet. Let's go fix up our victory monument. And yes. Mostly that thing I just said. Okay, I don't want to lose one of these, so I'll do that in case I lose one. I suppose we'll get a death counter sign up here too, but we'll wait till I actually die. Uh, when I die, not if I die. I'm sure I'll end up dying at least once, or twice, or seven times. Very good. So now we should be relatively safe here. More food in here, is there? It's already starting. My inventory always gets so screwed up whenever I play Super Hostile. If you've ever watched my Let's Play series, which I imagine some of you watching this have, I always keep everything like super OCD order, but when it comes to Super Hostile maps, it's not the case. Alright, blocks, light, regeneration, food. Okay. I wonder what's through here. You know what? We're taking one of these just for the heck of it. It'll use hunger if we hop all the way up these stairs, or inclines. Actually, um, is it night time? Also, giant pig statue. I did notice that, but I didn't mention it. Uh, we're gonna go see if there's anything in here, because it looks like there is. Surely there is something in here. Whoa. Yeah, there's something in there, alright. Something good, hopefully. Uh, yeah, something very good, in fact. Awesome. And I'll take this this with me as well. Very good. Doubt there's anything else in here. Unless... Well, look at that. This looks like that, uh, oh, this is that coal place. You can't even get to me. Oh, was oh, that dirt? Okay, I do need that, for sure. So show, as they say. Excellent. Get the 
tree farm started. No. This is not for you. My guess would be that this is just dirt, but I've been wrong before. Might be a secret passage. There's nothing up there. Okay, well, we got plenty of dirt. Let's get some coal. There's probably a ton of it in here. Vex usually has like a uh, sort of a coal hub in most of his maps. Thought I heard a creeper. Um, you know, where you can just sort of come in and. Uh, Get coal for days, as they say. Or don't say. I don't know. Or, you know, there could only be that much. But there's a bunch more down here, it looks like. Do I want to go down there right now? No, not really. And again, I only have 16 right now, so I probably should. It's also possible there's a chest in here or something. By the way, uh, Minecraft videos one-on-one. -on -one. Whenever you were in a cave, if you're planning to record for YouTube, you need to light the place because it's impossible to see for the, uh, the viewer. I learned this by making the mistake and also by watching lots of other people's Minecraft videos. Um, the YouTube compression just makes everything darker, I guess, so it's really, really hard to see if you're watching it on YouTube. You guys probably know this already. But just in case you didn't. 32, yeah, that's fine for now. I don't really want to sit down here and farm coal the entire time. He always sets these up in such a way that you think there's going to be a secret passage. And a lot of times, there is, I guess, but... Okay, I would like to actually get to some adventuring this time. That was weird, I thought I just saw a diamond, and I was like, no, nah, I doubt it. Alright, so we came through here. I wonder if there's anything behind this wall, actually, with the, the moss stone. Out of here. Uh. Oh, wait a second. This is like a set up like a victory monument. Sort of. Not exactly. Get. No! Ah, so annoying. Stop! Okay, I don't think there's anything back there. Feel free to spoiler it in the comments for me. Actually, don't. That would not be cool. Let's see if there's something through here. Yeah, might be. <laughs> not might be. There is. Spoilers. I think this is the same place, though. Spider eye. I can use that for something. I don't know, what do you use spider eyes for? Eating? There's a light over there. Hi. That's how the pros do it, people. Don't have to degrade my tools. Just listen to the death. 
Aha, it is a chest. I figured it would be. What do we got this time? Excellent. Food is what I need. Mossy cobblestone is what I don't need. I'm gonna get, like, mauled while I'm in here, aren't I? Um, I would like to take these tools. But I guess I don't really need them. I will take the pick for sure. Let's And I guess the sword. Okay. So for instance, right there, even though I could see, not well, but I could see, I know you guys probably couldn't. Just a helpful hint. From someone who's made the mistake before. I know it's always irritating to me when I'm watching a video of somebody I really like, and, you know, half the video is just like, them talking with a black screen because of that. That'd be a pain to get out of. Okay. We'll leave that open. And we'll go ahead and start our tree farm. I guess this episode is going to be mostly just... Might be something else in there, I guess. Uh, this episode is going to be mostly just setting up. But uh, this is a very good start, that's for sure. Okay, extra tools can go in here. I'll get my om noms. Good. And we'll go ahead and do the tree farm right here. <laughs> Don't know what that was. Let's see. One, two, three, four. That'll be good. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. It's been a while since I played a super hostile map. I kind of missed it. I needed... Like, I needed a break from it. After I finished posting Spellbound Caves and stuff, but... I have missed it. It's just sort of a completely different way to play the game. And they're a lot of fun. Might as well just plant all these. If I don't need them, I don't need them. That should be able to grow, yeah. Very good. I don't really care about growing the other kinds of trees because they don't drop apples, so... Yeah. Let's get another chest down here. Throw the axe in there. Dirt. Keep this stone sword with me. Got blocks already. Just stuff that I'm not going to need for right now. I do have arrows now, so I can do this. And let's actually use the stone sword first. Okay, we're good. Let me check the time real quick. Okay, we're sitting at about 30 minutes now, a little bit under. So I'm going to go ahead and call it quits here. Again, mostly setting up episode, but uh, there will be death and destruction to come. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I mentioned this already, but this time I'm going to be uploading them as I go, rather than doing the entire thing. So uh, if you're watching this, this is most likely the most recent that I've played, unless I did several sessions in a row. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.